everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Chase Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the glide. It's simpler than the rotational throw, but it'll absolutely eat you alive. So we're gonna talk about the six pillars of the throwing chain reaction system in this video, so check it out. One of the things, of course, we do is we do, we discuss the glide. And one of the key things is what we do in, with the throws and the throwing chain reaction system is that there's two seconds. So two seconds is just such a fast period of time. So how are you gonna work on all these things? You can't, right? So how do we break down that throw? So in this video, we're gonna discuss those six pillars and how basically the, the glide works. And one of the things that we always talk about when I'm at all these camps and I'm explaining these things to everybody is that the glide is tough. Make no mistake, it is less complex, I think, in nature than and the rotational throw. However, it is a very special, talented, gifted athlete that's gonna throw really far with the glide. The glide also is very unforgiving. Because it's a simpler technique, that means a couple little things go wrong and the whole throw is wrong. Screw up your chain reaction, you're gonna screw up your whole throw. So what we're gonna do is go through the six pillars of the throwing chain reaction for the glide shot and a couple of simple tips to help you throw farther and produce better training with the glide. The core thing that we teach, we teaching, I'm gonna throw like I'm throwing this way and when we're for sake of simplicity we have the setup and one of the key things is that trigger is really important we see some kids they bend over one of the first things we don't want to do in pillar one we want to set the right angle and we have to set our hinge and our load leg so that's what we do in pillar one pillar two is what we refer to as loading and coiling we're gonna get loaded up younger throwers I always talk about we want to have a higher range we don't need to get super low you see some of the pros and they get way down here those are pros it's taken them years to get to that point so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a range and it's really important for coaches and young throwers to understand if you see David Storrell Thomas Machewski or you see Valerie Adams and you see them and you see how dynamic and loaded and all these cool things that they're doing it's taken years to get to that point when you're a beginning thrower it's really important to just understand how to set the proper line so when we set here and we set our pillar two that's our loading and coiling we're loading up so that we can push and then pillar three is what we call drop and slide so we're gonna push and we're gonna be able to drop down so the hips and the chest dropping on the angle so that's our pillar three so we're here pillar two pillar three is basically here and then that's what's getting us to our pillar four driving and kicking really important that's how we're gonna be moving into the power position and setting that glide line in one two and three so four five we can go react again we're still gonna lock down power like we do and then we're going to be driving the hips up up into the throw and driving up and feeling that type of motion. Now notice it's a very linear motion. That all being said, that's leading you to your pillar six. So if I'm throwing that elbows in the way, we get the high arm, we get the hip underneath, that's our pillar six, and we're driving up into the shot and feeling that nice linear delivery. So this is how you work your six positions. And what we do is what we have with our six pillars, we can work on pillar one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how we work our drills. And then we work what we call as pillar connection. We'll save that for another video. Now, here's a couple of key tips. I always tell people when it comes to the glide shot, don't bend at the waist. That's the kiss of death. 